Hello, Dan Perry here again, and continue our TCPI Basics uh, courses. Uh, in this part, we're going to look at converting binary numbers to decimal. In the last video, we did the opposite direction. Now, here again, we're going to take our bi binary numbers and convert them to decimal numbers. Uh, we keep seeing this powers of 2 table, but again, review it. Starting at the right, 2 to the 0th power, that's our 1's position. Then 2 to the 1st is 2's, and it doubles each time. Now, just like going from decimal to binary, binary to decimal, there are a number of ways to do it. You can use the calculator, but if you're taking a certification exam, you're typically not allowed to use calculators. So we're going to look at a method of uh, repeated additions. Now, again, think about that powers of 2. Keep it handy. As you're learning, what you're probably going to want to do is write that table down before you go. Again, if you're doing a certification exam, you'll be given typically a small whiteboard. One of the first things I do on uh, those exams, before I even look at uh, starting the exam is I'll go ahead and in one of the corners of that board write my powers of two table. Um, when we're converting, you know, I've gotten the binary number showing in the leftmost column and what I have done with that binary number is I have uh, just written it from the most significant bit, bit to the least significant bit top to bottom. And we have the one in the first position, well, that is equivalent to a 128 in that powers of two table, so we've got a 128 there. The zero in the next bit, well, zero times anything is zero. Uh, there's a one in the 32 bit position, so we write down the 32, a zero in the 16, a one in the eight, so we write down the eight, and zero in the four, a 1 in the 2, so we write down the 2, and a 0 in the 1's position, we then add those up and we get a result of 170. Here in this one, we do the same thing again. There was a 1 in the 128 position, a 1 in the 64, a 1 in the 32 position, and we continue down where there's a 0, we write down a 0, and in this case we get a result of 229. A third example, here one in the 128, as well as the 64-bit position. There are zeros in the 32 and 16-bit. There are ones in the next four, the 8, 4, 2, and 1. So we write those down, add the results to give ourselves a 207. Okay. Now, next time we're going to start actually looking at TCPIP as we're working on our videos.